We do have some good news to report tonight. Once Tropical Storm Chris continues to weaken at this time, it will not be threatening us at any point. Now let's take you to the storm. The remnants of Chris are located about 70 miles east-northeast of central Cuba. Shower and thunderstorm activity remains limited and the system shows no real signs of regeneration. Winds are sustained at 25 miles per hour. The system is forecasted to continue moving westward during the next few days as an area of low pressure, but should not bring any significant weather to anyone. The remnants of Chris will then spread some rain to South Florida, including the Keys. It is possible that once this low pressure does reach the Gulf, it could regenerate. We will definitely keep you posted on that. I am meteorologist Stephen Dreyer. Now back to you at the news desk. A tornado rips through a Florida neighborhood this past weekend, damaging 25 homes. Residents spend today picking up the pieces of their lives. From the air, it looks like it did after a summer of hurricanes. Homes knocked off their foundations. Only this devastating destruction came not from a hurricane, but from a weekend tornado. It was wild. It was very fast. It was unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this. Five people in this northwest Palm Bay community were injured from the tornado. The twister cut a square mile path of destruction. 25 homes were damaged. Cleanup crews spent today trying to help residents get life back to normal. The twister tore off roofs, pushed out windows and knocked trees onto cars. While most here were shaken hard by the tornado, many are just thankful to be alive. Thank God. Thank God that we all survived and, and that we, that there, there was no damage. I mean, there was damage to the, the houses and everything like that, but thank God there was no damage to life. One unusual twist to this story. When police came upon a house where they thought someone was trapped inside, they found something unusual. No one inside but 54 marijuana plants growing and enough equipment to keep them alive. 